Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Space Quest 2 Vohal's Revenge, where we have been, well, completely destroyed by the game in the last episode, to be honest. Um, I was wrong, it wasn't actually the episode of the most deaths that I've had. Um, I think we had six deaths, as Thomas was saying, and we had ten in an episode of Space Quest 1, so even though it felt pretty brutal, it wasn't quite as bad as that episode. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a lot of things that can kill us in, in this game, it seems. Probably more than in the first game, and I'm quite happy about that, because it means we can, you know enjoy ourselves shall we say <laughs> in a very strange way so um let's try heading back this way i've been told that we can actually make our way through that little root system um by brandon holm i think it's pronounced if it isn't let me know in the comments below um so let's try going up here so this is where we got sort of attacked by the guys okay something so there's a hovercraft coming can we run can we sort of Okay, no, we can't do that. <laughs> First death already, one minute in. Okay. So, I, d I don't know if... I, I don't know if it's, like, similar to when the Sarians appear on the ship in, in the first game, right at the beginning, where you, you sort of hear the footsteps coming and then you have to run and leave the screen or actually we could sort of hide couldn't we in the elevators when that happens so i don't know if it's something like that like we've got to get away once you hear the ship coming i don't know if it's timed right so okay so can we can we get out of here i'm stuck oh god i got stuck on the tree <laughs> yes yeah, so it doesn't give you very long doesn't give you very long at all does it um right so i mean can we maybe hide behind these rocks or something do we think we can do that i, d I don't know if it gets triggered by you walk into a certain part of the screen can we okay something's coming can we get out of here nice okay we got out we got out nice so uh let's save We'll call this, I don't know, it looks like a swamp, so um, let's look around. Right, so you can beat them then, if you're quick enough. You are standing at the edge of an eerie swamp. It is a swamp. You can hear the croaks and moans of swamp life, none of which you are eager to encounter. Yeah, that's probably... I get the feeling that if I walk in this water, something's going to eat me. So... The foliage is too damp, but I don't know. I really think something's going to eat me if I go into that. What What are the eyes in the bushes? Are they, are they just there to look spooky? Can we do anything with this tree? Look at the tree. The trees in this area are two distinct types. Wet ones and dry ones. <laughs> Alright, can we look at the dry tree? It doesn't understand dry. Brilliant. Right, I get the feeling if I go in here I'm going to die, but we're going to... Yuck. But I, I think we're probably going to have to go through this because I don't see anything else. Oh no, we're we're okay, it seems. Oh god, no we're not. No we're not. There's a thing. Go, go, go. Okay. So there is some sort of creature or creatures in here. Uh, oh god. No, no. I could see the little things following us. You feel something slimy clamp down on your leg and pull you beneath the surface. You struggle in vain to free yourself. Unfortunately, your desire to breathe results in the intake of a large quantity of swamp water. <laughs> if the lack of oxygen hadn't killed you, the taste of the putrid water would have. You're dead. Better luck next time, Roger Wilco. Oh, God, okay. So, I mean, we sort of got through a fair way. I get the feeling that we've got to make it through this swamp. A little head appeared at the top, didn't it? A set of eyes in the water there. Right, okay. So, right, that's following us. So, is there a way we can sort of climb out of... No, it's going it's to get us. No, okay. Hmm. All right. So. That's... I mean, it's potentially an issue, isn't it? Right. Let's see. Does it... When does the little creature pop up? I'm guessing he pops up when we get to a certain point of the swamp. Yeah, okay. 
Uh, right, he's following us. He's following us. He's still following us. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Right, perhaps we need some sort of craft to go across the water. I don't know. Maybe, like, maybe we can get that hovercraft off those guys or something like that. If we can't, then I don't know. Let's try running across here to the left and see if there's a way up here. <gasps> there is. Okay, we're at this thing now, the mailbox. Look at the mailbox. The mailbox looks typical for a mailbox. There is a slot, a tray, and a sign. Okay, let's look at the slot. The slot looks much like an opening in the exterior of the mailbox through which a thin piece of mail might pass. Okay, but I don't think we have any mail. Uh, let's look at the screen, was it? Okay, look at the sign. Okay, let's look at the mailbox. Because it said a couple of things. There is a slot, a tray, and a sign. Look at the tray. The tray is actually a small indentation in the lower part of the machine. It's currently empty. Okay, look look at sign. Weirdly, we don't we don't seem to be able to look at the sign on it, which is kind of weird. Um, can we look at it from the side? No. Can we use the mailbox? How would you like to do that? Can we open the mailbox? Is there something in it? It seems to be... No, okay. Right, um, okay, let's head back. So the only thing I can think of then is is going through that little maze bit. So the only way that I can think we're going to be able to do that is we could use the sort of diagonal keys because you can use those to walk diagonally. And also I might slow the game speed down a little bit. Okay, the hovercraft's coming, but I think we're out of... Let's just avoid these spores. Also, I've been told the spores don't kill you. Um, they just knock you out for like a minute or two. So, uh, actually, can we look at the spores while we're here? Oh god, I don't, I don't want to. <laughs> All right, let, let's let's save here and call it. Um, I don't know. Um, mailbox, I guess, because we looked at the mailbox. I, I don't want to set these off. Look at the spore. The spores are light blue and bulb shaped. They seem to be loosely attached to the ground. Can we, this is probably gonna be a bad idea, but can we get a spore? You take possession of one of the spores, being careful not to mistakenly break it open. Okay, and we got four points for that. So I'm guessing that's something that we actually needed to do, which is great. So can we look at the spore now? This is one of the unopened spores. Okay, so we got, we got a spore, nice. Didn't think that would actually work, but there we go. Uh, this rock looks very suspect. Okay, they're all grey. No, maybe not. So let's head up here. Uh, oh, God, I nearly walked on the roots. Okay, so there is a clear way through, I think, from what I can see. So let's save this as, like, roots. Um, and then we'll slow the game down to slow. Uh, maybe we won't do slow. That's a bit slow. We'll slow it down to normal. Okay, we can get through. Look, nice. So, oh no! <laughs> All right. Well. That, that got us. So we, we can get through. It's a case of, of doing it carefully then, I guess. So I think the, the problem I've got is that the way the controls work is you have to sort of... No. <laughs> oh, God. It's, it's so precise. All right. We'll just count that as a death and, and move on. So, yeah, the, the problem is that you sort of to stop... You walk in a direction with an arrow key and then to stop, you have to press that direction again. So, I pressed the wrong button before when we got here. That's not going to work, is it? No! Oh, oh my god! Oh, it's so difficult! Alright. We're not going to watch that death animation every time. 
I mean, we we could use nine like that. You see, you can you can do that and and go that way. Nine on the the sort of the keypad. Oh God, it's um very tense. I'm I I don't want to save scum it. That I'm trying to avoid save scumming it, but I, I might have to because otherwise it's just gonna <laughs> it's just gonna take forever. Right, roots two. Oh, oh my God! The no. <laughs> okay, God. C can we go one here? We can. Okay. No. <laughs> I was so close to getting through there. Oh, God. Okay, I'm getting a bit brave now. Maybe I shouldn't be so brave with it. Right, let's go here. Right, we'll save again. And we'll call it Roots 3. Um, right, I guess... Oh, come on! I did not step on that. That's not true. Screw you, game. Um, right, so... Oh, oh my god! Oh, for god's sake, I didn't touch it! Oh, jeez. Okay, this is... This is... Right, this is going to be the one, isn't it? This is going to be the episode that surpasses that death total, that is for sure. I'm not... No! No, I did not touch that. Okay, um, from there. Also, I've been told as well that you can do something funny in this. So you can, if you get annoyed, you can basically... They added a new parser function to this game where you can basically put, like, something like this. Would you want your mother to hear you say that? <laughs> really, game? Really? This one's definitely going to be the biggest death count of all. Uh, maybe we go diagonally here. I don't know what to do. Right, there we go. Okay. Right. Okay, okay. Right, let's save again here. I really wanted to avoid save scumming, but I, I, it's just impossible on its own. The question is, do we go up and through the big section, or do we go through the small section? The little, looks like a little archway. I think we probably need to go through the big archway. Something tells me we won't actually be able to fit under the small archway. Oh, God. This is so tense. <laughs> Alright, okay. We, we, we might be nearly there. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Right, one more save. Okay, I think, I think after all that, we might, we might have made it. Let's just make sure we actually go under. Something tells me this is precise as well. <gasps> he ducked. Okay, he ducked. Wow, okay. <laughs> wow, this one is definitely tougher than the first game, that is for sure. Okay, can we go left here? No, it's too dense. What's all this on? Is, is that like berries or something? Look at the bush. All the bushes look the same except for the one at the far end of the clearing which has small berries. Uh, get berries. Alright, so we've got loads of berries. You snag some of the odoriferous, odor odoriferous red berries. Couldn't think of that word for a second. So they smell interesting. So can we look at the berries? The strange red berries pack a very pungent aroma. Okay, so that's interesting. So I wonder what we're going to use the berries for. The, the question is actually, can we, can we actually go anywhere else here? Ah, uh, so we're gonna have to go back through the maze, aren't we? It's just dawned on me we're gonna have to go back through the damn maze. Uh, look, what is this thing? It appears to be some kind of overdeveloped root. There is a pulsating growth near the middle, which is connected to several meters. Can we can we kill this thing somehow? <laughs> oh God, I don't think we can. Oh no! 
<laughs> we came through here to get the berries and we're going to have to walk back out through the maze again. Okay. Of course it, it's going to make us do it twice because, you know, it's cruel like that. Alright, so far so good. Let's save here then. Uh, and we'll call it, uh, I guess we call it Roots 8. Okay, that's, that's good so far. Okay. Uh, oh, no, I didn't want to go that way. Okay, luckily we can just go diagonally back. Okay. Through we go. So far, so good. So far, so good. No! <laughs> oh, God. We were mostly there, guys. We were mostly there. All right, then. Well, we're out of time, so that's where we'll leave it for this one. We're going to have to try and get back through these routes in the next episode. <laughs> the game is so cruel for making us do it there and back, honestly. It really is. Uh, but, as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, and Terminally Nerdy for all the support. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. It really helps YouTube push this video out to more people who'd like to watch it. And join our little point-and-click community that we're building here. And I will see you all next time.